Hey there sports fans! Today we're talking about the controversial issue of trans athletes in women's sports. Recently, U.S. collegiate swimming champion Riley Gaines and Olympic basketball gold medalist Brittany Griner had a heated debate about the topic, and we're here to break it down for you. So here's the deal. House Republicans are pushing for a bill called the Protection of Women and Girls in Sports Act, which would ban transgender women from competing in women's sports teams in schools and universities that receive public funding. Griner, who identifies as a lesbian, opposes the bill and believes that everyone should have the right to play sports, regardless of their gender identity. On the other hand, Gaines is a vocal critic of trans athletes in women's sports, and she thinks that allowing biological males to compete in women's sports is unfair and exclusive. She argues that sex protective rights are crucial and should not be taken away by people who simply claim the identity of a woman. Now things got pretty heated between these two athletes. Griner accused Gaines of taking a demeaning stance towards successful women athletes, while Gaines questioned Griner's credibility by bringing up her arrest in Russia for carrying hash oil in her luggage. But here's the thing folks, this debate isn't just about these two athletes, it's about the larger issue of inclusivity and fairness in sports. Supporters of the bill argue that biological differences between men and women give male athletes an unfair advantage in women's sports, while opponents say that gender identity should be the determining factor for participation. So where do you stand on this issue? Should transgender women be allowed to compete in women's sports, or should there be separate categories for biological males and females? Let us know in the comments below! That's all for today's sports news update. Thanks for tuning in, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more exciting content.